अच्छा गाइस अगेन यू नो वेलकम टू आर ऑफिशियली थर्ड सेशन ओके अच्छी बात यह है कि इस टाइम हमारे पास स्पेसिफिकली सिर्फ पाकिस्तानी अवाम है लेकिन अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग कि हमारे पास भी हैव अ ग्रुप ऑफ बेसिकली नेपाली पीपल हु आर हु कैन नॉट अटेंड सेशंस लाइव एंड दे टेक दिस रिकॉर्डिंग उनकी तरफ मतलब वी गेट अ कंटीन्यूअस फीडबैक ओके सो वी हैव फॉर्चुनेटली एंड फॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव रिकॉर्ड दिस इन इंग्लिश ओके सो गाइस वी हैव बेसिकली कवर इंट्रोडक्शन Uh, the role of icc and all these things uh, after that we have uh, covered basically you know what are incotums international commercial terminologies that we have covered till date further we in the last session we also covered the financial instruments so what we are going to do in this session today it was supposed to be a very short session i'll tell you why uh, but uh, it was supposed to be a short short session and the reason is that um, we have basically i will just show you the documents that i discussed last time the trade documents today's session was supposed to be about it it is supposed to be about the trade documents and everything but the thing is that uh, we do not have slides for today because we will be showing you live documents of trade okay these documents that i am showing you i will also forward it to you okay i have um, basically gathered few documents which are the documents for you can say from different companies and there are certain documents which are my own company documents documents which belongs to the companies show you those documents okay i can't exactly give you those documents but um, or i will just hide or sanitize the details and i'll give you those. okay just for example the documents that i'm talking about for my company that i can give it to you even i can give it to you word copy because in session would be needing these documents or your okay i will try to give you my documents and you can edit them guys before we begin can you all hear me yes 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 sir can you all hear me yes sir thank you okay guys i am going to share my screen with you okay and uh, i'll just show you the documents first of all you have to understand what are the documents that i'm talking about okay the document that we are discussing right now these are what we call the trade documents let's call them there's no exact name for them so we just prefer to call them trade documents what are these trade documents in the last session we discussed about loi letter of interest or letter of intent in the last slide that i've provided it's given okay then we have discussed about the sco soft corporate offer we have discussed about the icpo irrevocable corporate purchase offer we have discussed about the fco full corporate offer and we have also discussed about the spa that is sale and purchase agreement besides these document we also talk about the ncnda and imfpa NCNDA is non circumvention and non disclosure agreement that's a very long name IMFPA is international monetary fund protection agreement IMFPA as you do not have to like you know to start writing these things right now okay i am providing you these documents the heads basically the headings are written on the document plus the slides that i've already provided you the names full names of these documents. every trader would like to deal from his own point of view from his own experiences and expertise what are the documents that i am providing these are firstly based from my experiences okay it has no fixed format you can prepare it in any format but the format that i am trying to provide you this is the format that i have learned over the experience and uh, basically we are negotiating with the buyers and the suppliers and sometimes our documents are some information and the doc Communities send back to you. So what we do is basically we have finally prepared a for at least up till now a perfect document that is.
So we are going to actually look into the comments. And today is the third session. In the fifth session, I'll ask you to prepare these documents for your own basically business idea as well. Not business idea exactly for your own product. Okay, second thing, basically guys, um, the second part of today's session, we'll try to shorten the session, close it as soon as possible, because then I'll give you a link. And this is a link to the quiz for all the topics that we have covered in the past. Not for the two topics that we've covered in the past. It's a very short quiz, contains, I think, one or two multiple answers, and otherwise, like, you know, just short answers. This is just to check your own knowledge of where exactly it has nothing to do with even if after two weeks if you are just listening to me if you're just having a look at the slides and all the same if you're not exactly looking at the slides yourself then it's a problem okay second thing i wanted to discuss was that um basically we give you i actually gave you some time in the last session and that was to actually create accounts on some B2B portals and to make a LinkedIn profile and another profile. Okay, so for people who are actually coming right now and for people who have attended the last session, I am assuming you guys have already done that. We do not exactly have uh, the whole audience right now, so I'm not exactly assuming you all have done that. Okay, because uh, your buyer and supplier hunting I'm sorry, guys, you can proceed further because you cannot start uh, hunting buyers and suppliers. If you want to do it from, I told you in the last session, if you want to do it from your own Facebook profile, then just get ready to have a very, very messy profile because every time we open our Facebook and all this, thing, it's filled with the requests from buyers, suppliers, and all this thing. I would personally do not want to add, um, like, you know, just random people on my personal profile. That's one thing. Second thing, I do not like my wall book wall to be filled with like you know just the uh, group notifications and this thing and this happens i have done this mistake myself okay okay so guys that's the thing uh we i just as i just said i'll give you the testing at the end of the session but quickly we'll go through the documents okay so guys the first document that i i mentioned last time it was uh, what we called um, LOI, letter of interest or letter of intent. Okay. What I'm, I'm going to do is I am going to just, uh, I will keep writing the name. Okay. This is called LOI and that is letter of interest or letter of intent. Okay, guys. This is the first document that we are discussing. So I'm going to share my screen now. <laughs> Here we go. So guys, are we all on the screen? Can you all see the screen? Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay, guys, so the first document that we are discussing, guys, it's not exactly my laptop, okay, but uh, this is the laptop I'm using for a time right now. Guys, first document that I'm going to show you, okay, it is actually from, um, one of my Chinese bytes, a very old document. So I'll just show you. It's not exactly right, you know, um, because you have to keep some sort of confidentiality between the buyers and the suppliers and all this thing. But uh, I'll just uh, show you this document so you have an idea. Okay? And uh, I have another word format. I'll just show you. So guys, uh, the document I'm showing you right now, it's called LOI, Letter of Interest or Letter of Intent. I will show you two basically LOIs, two or three LOIs just for an example and then you see this uh, this thing it's called latest LOI format this is basically my company doc you have to remove the header basically my company details format and you have to put your own details okay guys uh, one repeated question that i keep getting 
from uh, basically different people around and they usually ask me this thing like you know if we do not have a company if we are not exactly you know if we have not registered a company and all this thing so how should we deal because the usually the buyers and the suppliers they do not deal with the individuals you know they want to deal with companies so if that is the case with you as well okay guys just let me know and feel free to actually use my company details just let exactly what you're doing so i can at least guide you and uh, feel free to basically use my company details okay that's one thing so guys we'll at least we'll first uh, we can proceed with the i think this switching thing has actually it's too much for my laptop Let me open the document and I'll show the screen again, okay? Let me open. Yeah, see, it's much faster now. Anyway, so as I was saying, basically, like, you know, if you have a problem, basically, you cannot actually have your own company details and all this. Eh? Feel free to use my company details, guys who are actually calling us and trying to confirm. So I would be able to tell them that, yes, you know this guy or this female whoever you are you know if you're trying to deal and all this thing it is from our own company side this is share this with you as well guys i have this now i told you my laptop uh, something wrong with my laptop so i'm using another laptop and this belongs to nasa you know it's super fast Anyway, here you go. Yep. As you can see on the top, uh, let me zoom in a bit. Okay. As you can see on the top, guys, this side, okay, it shows the date. So this document, I got this on 6th of December, 2016. Okay, it's the name of a company in Victus. Okay, guys, usually on this part, they basically mention the name of the company to whom they are sending this document. So it mentions my company name, okay, this part. If I can take this, yeah. So this part, okay. Just like, you know, as you can see, you know, some people call it letter of intent. Some people call it letter of interest. It shows the heading letter of intent to purchase copper wire milbury 99.99%. That's just heading can be anything. It is just to show your interest in what product you are, who you want to buy. And then this begins with this, you know, paragraph like, you know, we the buyer, blah, 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 and all this thing. Again, this totally depends on you. You can write it in one line. You can write a bit detail companies who are properly registered like this company you know they are giving the office address they are giving their license number and they're telling like you know who's the guy who would be in contact with us xyz and they're telling all these details that's this section the commodity detail section this is the important part okay this is where the whole fun thing begins why because like you know okay why is this thing important because like you know it shows you exactly what you want to buy. This is this is the part. So it says commodity again, the copper wire specification side. Okay, as we are into general trade, you do not have to understand all these um, you know engineering terminologies like you know the CU is the short form for copper metal. You do not have to understand or remember these terminologies because you already get them from the buyer. Okay, so you do not have to remember that. You will already get this from the buyer. You just have to actually put it on your letterhead and forward it to the supplier. Guys, this part mentions trial first lift quantity. Trial shipment is usually before you actually start the, you start the actual order, okay? You ask for, let's say the order is for 12 months, okay? And uh, like you see this thing, contract, contract quantity, 500 metric ton monthly, multiply by 12 months. That means it is for the whole year. This contract is for the whole year. But it also mentions mentions 100 metric ton trial. They are basically saying that before they start buying uh, the actual quantity with you, the 500 metric ton with you, they want to actually buy uh, this 100 metric ton trial, okay? 
so this will implementing over here so the actual quantity is 500 metric ton per month multiplied by 12 that makes up 6000 metric ton yearly okay but with this trial it would turn out to be 6100 basically 6000 dash because they want to first uh, do not they do not want to invest into the big quantities they want to first check the supplier as well if everything goes fine they go to the actual order of 500 metric ton okay Whereas after this, it says price per metric ton. This is the price that they're looking for. Okay. USD 35, sorry, 3400 per metric ton. This is from 2016. Guys, if you ask me the price right now, the price right now is cross uh, 10,000 $10, per ton. Okay. Because this metric ton is ton. Okay. Do not go. So, guys, this price, okay, this is the price that the buyer wants. This, it is not necessarily the price as well. It totally depends on you. And this is very much negotiable. You can negotiate it with the buyer. Maybe you have a supplier who is supplying you at $3,400, but you want to keep your commission as well. So you would actually talk to the buyer. And you will tell him all the terms that we meet all your terms. We can supply you this quantity and everything, but we will supply you at 3,500 metric ton per month. Okay. Sorry, $3,500. Per metric ton. Import is the eco terms as we discussed last time. It says FOB, okay, free on board or freight on board. So he's basically telling you how he wants to buy. Okay, a shipment it says immediately. Otherwise he would have mentioned uh, basically a date when he needs the shipment. Maybe he needs it after a month or he would mention a date, whatever. Okay. By the payment type, it says TT. TT is basically bank transfer. Monthly quantities DLC. Guys, we have discussed DLC before as well. Okay, in our financial instrument section in the last lecture. So basically, this buyer is saying that we will pay you cash for 100 metric ton trial, and then we will open LC for the rest 12 months. Okay. Are you all with me right now? Yes. Okay, besides Rafiz, is everybody with me? Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's not bizarre, yes, sir. Sir, I'm sir. Jamal Jamal. Jamal, welcome back to this world again. You know, we are very glad you are alive. You know, we were trying to look yes. for you. But you never replied. But uh, yeah. oh, so welcome back. Yes, so, uh, okay, how you, does sir. the how does the world of the living taste? So yes, it's sir. all okay, Jamal, sir. Sir, it's very good. I mean, I'm in the king yeah. right now, <laughs> and I'm taking class as well. Wow. Uh, how I I think I don't know. I should be happy for the level of commitment, or I should be surprised, you know, at the priority list. But anyway, that's a personal choice, so we'll let it go. Okay. Anyway, guys. So, guys, we are done with uh, the payment part as well. Okay, we are done with this. Okay, guys. So let's uh, discuss the procedure right now. So for the procedure part, understand this thing. As we go here, and this would be our procedure basically. It, they says they like, you know, it's just the procedure of the buyer. They say that we will finalize all the documents and the buyer will review the documents, blah, 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 and all this thing. It's just, it's a normal procedure. It comes there in every other documents, okay? You do not have to, but this is probably the easiest business you can do. Why not have to write your own procedure? You thing okay so you do not have to be considered and then you know you just sign the document and you put your details and everything it's it just happens like this so guys this is uh basically an loi of another company okay now just quickly let me quickly show you loi of uh, my company this is the loi that we started with okay oh sorry Let's just give me a second. Can you all see my screen? 
Where is which alloy are you seeing right now? Invictus. Invictus. Okay. I am on another alloy. Let me reshare the screen. Okay. Here we go. Can you see now? Yep. Okay, guys. So yes. this is basically the this is basically the LOI of um, you know my company. So what we are doing is um, that I hate screen sharing with this only for this reason, you know. Anyway. Right, so this, this is the alloy. I will just show you how it starts. It starts with the, the traditional letterhead, the company details and everything, okay? The address and the logo and everything. Then it says letter of interest, okay? Guys, so sometimes I use the word letter of interest, sometimes I use the word uh, basically letter of intent. It totally depends on my mood plus the market as well. What is the norm? What is exactly the word that is being used in the market? Okay? And then it this okay. Guys, this is a mistake. Just hold on. This is not a uh, LinkedIn. Just hold on. This was supposed to be a SEO. It's just okay, boy. Please just do not worry about this thing because I will actually send you all these documents. So again, I'm repeating myself. Do not worry about uh, making documents and everything because you will already get these, okay? Okay guys, can you see now? This is, as I showed you, Previously, it was a letter of interest. Now I'm showing you the, another word, letter of intent, which I prefer to use right now. Whereas this is was the latest format that I was uh, using. Okay, so this is uh, again in the same thing, but I prefer to use it nowadays in a table form. Okay, why? Because um, I just feel it that there are certain understand this thing when you're dealing internationally. Not every buyer is. Um, Sorry, not every buyer or supplier. They are very, they're not exactly from English speaking countries. So it's not very easy for them to understand things. So you have to make it as easy and as simple as possible for them. Okay. So this is uh, for an oil with uh, 10 ppm. You do not have to understand this. Already. CDRO crude digum rapeseed oil. Okay. And this is addressed to Mr. I think I just made that name up. Anyway, so guys, as you saw in the previous document, it had all the details, okay? Like big paragraphs and all this thing. Here, I mentioned it very clearly, you know, one of our associate companies. So I'm exactly telling them that I'm not the end buyer. The one of our associate company wishes to buy 5,000 metric tons of CDRO, blah, you know, and for the commodity or the product that I want to buy, Okay, and then I tell them the origin that I'm looking for, that I need this oil from Ukraine, okay? Not from any other country. You do not have to mention the origin if you can buy it from any country, but this time I wanted to only buy from Ukraine, so I have to mention this, okay? Or if, let's say, if I want, I can buy from Ukraine, Poland, and Russia. So I will just write Ukraine, comma, Poland, and Russia, whatever country I want to mention. And if I can buy it from anywhere in the world, do not even have to mention this thing. Or if I have just put in the origin, I can just write, you know, um, from anywhere in the world or just you know globally then guys i have to also mention packaging understand this thing there are certain products which requires packaging but this oil actually in flexi tanks flexi tanks are like balloons you know you fill oil they just inflate like a balloon and then you can just you know uh, 
basically drained oil from the so it's a special but thing it's a tanks, requirement no? flex tanks are flexi tanks are not fiber tanks these are basically tanks which are made of um, more like a rubber type material okay <laughs> and when there when there is no liquid inside them it's like you know they are literally flat like a balloon you know and when you blow a balloon it's like you know it gets bigger in size but you, when you deflate it it's like just flat you know so flexi tanks are like that it is a particular requirement for europe okay again i do not okay i got this requirement from the buyer so i just mentioned it and then the buyer told me this thing so i just mentioned say it says 5000 metric ton for 12 months okay 5000 metric ton per month okay for 12 months plus payment terms it says lc at site on port of discharge lc basically the buyer will give the lc the letter of credit and it says on port of discharge basically the payment would be made to the supplier when this oil reaches the buyer's port not at the supplier's port it's not like um, if you remember you know these uh, inco terms that we were discussing it is more it is more like you know lc at discharge port if you have recalled your inco terms that we discussed last time guys then it says delivery port you have to mention a delivery port no no supplier can give you a rate product if you do not mention the delivery port why because you need um, basically this thing you need and guys it says guarantee by the supplier two percent performance bond as we discussed last time in fund instrument besides lc and all this thing you have performance of bond as well this is security for the buyer that his time and his uh, effort is actually put into the deal so if the supplier cannot supply he has to pay two percent penalty okay and then guys it's mentioned inspection inspection is basically like you know who will test your product simply the buyer cannot say that um, i do not like your product or the supplier cannot say that i am providing you the world's best oil okay there's another company sgs and there are many companies world's best company is sgs and there are many other companies who are actually giving these testing services for every product okay so we hire a third party company who test our product and who tells us like you know it is according to this specification the 10 ppm okay this is what they tell us and blah 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 okay guys then they say so please forward your fco the most company in code terms 2010 guys i'm not wrong i think the time i was using this letterhead the in code terms 2020 were not there okay so i was still following in code 2010 now you see this loi of mine guys it does not have a signature okay you can put in your signature maybe you don't want to put in your signature and all this thing it's totally up to you once this loi is issued against like we discussed last time against the loi the buyer sorry the seller would um, give you soft corporate offer okay soft corporate offer looks something like this okay because of why i'm saying over here this is Sale of crude decom rape seed oil. So if you are interested in selling, you know. Okay. Again, you know, I made up a name. Do not get confused with that. Yeah. So guys, this is what we are saying that we have this oil, the CDRO, we have this thing. In response to that, please find the below description. CDRO type is crude, it's not refined, it's crude okay it will be packed in flexi tanks as the buyer wants okay place of origin is czech republic okay we are basically saying we cannot provide you from ukraine but we can provide you from czech republic okay the certification that we are going to give are these iscc iso u1 halal halal certificate and all this thing because the muslims would be somehow using it as well and it is a requirement of the buyer not a requirement okay volume we can provide you three three thousand metric ton per month okay company again it mentions sgs or equivalent basically the world's i just told you the world's best company is sgs but you can use equivalent company as well there's a french company by the name of bio vitas okay this short form is bb and then there's another company by the name of alex stewart okay it's called asi alex stewart international but people prefer to use sgs it's a bit expensive but the best one 
Payment, payment terms, it says LC each side as a buyer wanted. And then selling price is 7,000, uh, sorry, 715 per metric ton. Okay. If you have seen before, the buyer wanted to buy this oil for 3,500 something or whatever the rate was per metric ton. And we are basically buying from the supplier at 750, whatever the difference is, that is our profit. Okay. Then, guys, we say for reference, you can find the specification. This is very important. Every supplier would give you a specification. Why? You see, okay, the director's name is KKB. You can translate that. Okay, guys, this is a report, the specification, okay, that you get for any other product. It differs from any product. But not even, I am telling you, do not dare to read this product. This is specification. Never looked at the specification myself as well, okay? I, even if I look at it, maybe I would not understand it. I'm just too scared to even look at this thing, you know. I will advise you to do the same thing. You know, just make sure that you send it to the buyer and tell them, like, you know, this is what we got. And they will tell you if it's according to, because they have, they are the buyers, they have the engineers and all this thing who can understand this thing. I'm not sure if we understand even a word of this thing, okay? So this is how you send it to an SEO to your buyer, okay? I will stop screen sharing again and I will, after the basically they issue the ICPO, the buyer issue the ICPO, the error of the cop. Google corporate purchase offer and LOI is the bank details and we cannot exactly share the bank details. So I will directly jump to FCU. To see an ICPO. Yes, no, very good. Yes, no, sorry, sorry, I'm not showing you. Okay, I'm just kidding. Whereas actually it has a bank details. If you're hiding the bank details, there's no use of showing you ICPO. So what I'm going to show you is, I will directly show you the SPA, okay? The sale and purchase agreement. This is the most horrific SPA I've ever received. I will show you the same. This is for what we call copper cathodes, the copper sheets. Now the funny part is, my my buyer is actually Chinese, okay? So as you will see throughout the SPA, that uh, during basically all these details, all these English things would be in Chinese as well, okay? So sale and purchase agreement, if you know Chinese, this is the translation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys, you have to mention over here registration number as the seller, you have to mention the seller details over here. Then you have to mention registration number of the buyer, you have to mention buyer details over here. Okay. I think we have Khushbakht over here. Khushbakht, are you with us? Hello? Yes, sir. Can you read Chinese? A uh, little bit. A little bit, okay. So I'm, I'm sure you, you, know, you can try to help us if we go wrong wrong somewhere, okay? So guys, this I'll start the, the sale contract, blah, blah, blah. It has the English thing over it. And then again, the same is translated in the Chinese below. So this part mentions the seller details, okay? Basically, it's a company name, registration number, mailing address, like their address represented by basically who will you be talking to? whatever you know and then his name his title his passport number you have to understand this this is very important you do not deal without any legal document okay then phone and fax email banking guys you just do not have to put the passport number you actually have to give a passport copy as well okay then guys the bank name the seller's bank name where will he receive the Money, bank name, bank address, bank account number, blah, blah, blah. These are all the bank details. So when the bank email, sometimes it also has the, basically the bank manager's number as well. So if there's a, the buyer can directly contact the Anyway, guys, after this thing, 
it just discusses uh, the what we call just give me a second let me clear this up okay Okay, guys, now these are the definition basically what does empty means just to be clear that everybody is on the same page and uh, nobody is actually confused. These are just the definitions. Okay, the terms and condition how you want to buy quantity of delivery and all this thing you have to mention like, you know, you see this part. This part order of 5000 metric ton, blah, blah, blah. And it also mentions this, you know, plus minus 3% plus minus 3% that yes, we want 5000 metric ton. But there is a chance when you are dealing into international trade and all this thing, they give you a leverage of some quantity. They are saying plus minus percent. It can be uh, basically three thousand. Sorry, five one percent of five thousand is fifty. Three percent that means one fifty. So it can be you know five thousand one hundred and fifty or five thousand uh, sorry four thousand eight hundred and fifty as well. If it's not complete five thousand, but below that or above that, you know the buyer will not buy. Okay, and then it basically mentioned all the details. What are the port of discharge and everything? And every all of these details are in Chinese as well. Okay. Okay, guys, this is their specification again. You know, in Chinese and in English. Understand this thing. These specification why they are important because if the actual product is different from uh, the specification that we have already signed. If the actual product is different, then it's a problem because the buyer will not buy. He will immediately reject your product. Okay. And then you would have already incurred some cost and all this thing, and it will be a problem for you. Okay? So, guys, this is it. And how he wants the packaging. He wants the packaging like, you know, 125 kgs and all this thing. It totally depends on the product. And, to, and this is all the procedure. And, this document you can have a look quick look this belongs to me so i do not mind you know guys understand this thing this part is important okay which i was discussing i like this non circumvention and uh, non agreement what does exactly mean that's non disclosure that you will not tell the anything of this agreement to outside people. This is the reason I'm telling you, I cannot share this document with you, but this, since this belongs to my company and I've hidden all the other details, you know, I will just share it with you. That non-disclosure, non-circumvention, it is a very important point. It's almost like this, you know, this is something very much practiced in Pakistan, I'm sorry to say, but this is something very much practiced in Pakistan. It's like this, you know, okay, I will not give the details of this uh, seller. Uh, basically, I will not directly contact the seller or not directly contact the buyer, but I will ask my friend or my brother to actually contact him on my behalf. The convention is actually going around in circles. You know, if you're not disclosing the details and all this thing, you will not even ask someone else to disclose this thing. It's a criminal offense, okay? In short, if I just say it in a very simple language, you know, this is a very popular thing. You know, it this is one of the most favorite thing of our Asian people specifically. They want it. Guys, force majeure is a French word, but basically force majeure is if there's a disagreement, if there's a problem uh, with the with this thing, you know. I can see application. Okay. If there's a problem with the you can say with this whole dealing thing, how would you deal it? They say they will take the case to international chamber of commerce, okay? And they would do the arbitration like we discussed in the first video. No waiver rights. Were, Guys, they, it would definitely mention arbitration clause again, you know, since it's a Chinese where it says Chinese International Economic and Trade Arbitration Commission, the Chinese people, they would not exactly involve any outsider. They would want everything done according to the Chinese way. We do not mind that, quite frankly. Okay. And uh, anyway, guys, this, this can go on and on. I'm just looking. If there's anything that I need to explain, guys, that's it. And then you, the buyer and the seller sign this thing. And then they, this is the next step. This is basically the quantities that they're mentioning. Okay. This is a spot order, like the trial shipment. They need it on Shanghai port. And then they need the first trial shipment of 5,000 metric ton. Okay. And after that, they need 20,000 every month. Now you see this thing. This is a 13-month contract. Why? Because the first month is actually a trial month. The contract is actual contract is for 12 months 
twenty thousand every month. But this first month is actually a trial month. Okay, so this is the thing, and probably that's the end of the contract. Okay, that's the end of SPA sale purchase agreement. Last document that I want to <clears throat> show you. It's a very simple document, but you being people basically, like you know, for if you are coming into this business, this would be the most important. Important. I was mixing important and document. I was about to say important. It would be a most important document for you. And here we go. Yes. This is a document from ICC, and it is an NC NDA and IMFPA, as I told you before. You see this thing, NC NDA, non-circumvention, non-disclosure agreement. Okay, and this is the second part of this document is actually IMFPA, irrevocable master fee protection agreement. Guys, understand this is why IMFPA is important. NC NDA is only for the information, the data, data protection. Why IMFP is important because this concerns your commission. It would tell you how much commission you will get in which bank account commission you will get on what date you will get the commission and X Y Z details. Okay, so this is very important. So guys, this contract code, of course, when you sign a contract, you get a code, seller seller code, blah blah blah. Okay, how will you get this thing through MT one zero three? Okay, why transfer short bank transfer? Nothing special. You mention the price. You mention the seller name. You have the seller name. You have the buyer buyer details and everything, guys. This part is NC NDA, okay? And it mentions that you are not supposed to tell the information of the seller to someone else. You are not supposed to tell the information of the buyer to someone else. Blah blah blah, and all these things, okay? You can just read these things. It is always same. This is valid for six years, okay? If you sign contract one time, it's valid for six years, okay? So it totally depends on you, and then it mentioned all the laws, you know, the European Union laws, the U.S. court, blah blah blah. Nobody really cares. Warning and all this thing, you can just have a look. Okay, and then it mentions that basically, it has a clause for this thing. Electronic document transmission. Basically, if you sign this electronically, this document is valid as well. You do not have to sign a hard copy. Now, guys, this is where the fun begins. Okay, all the seller details. Company details and all this and blah blah blah. All this thing. All all the buyer details. Okay. I forgot my seal over here. Okay, guys, look at this. Now it says the buyer intermediary. Okay, or the buyer intermediary is again the middle person. Like I said, I put in my details over here. Okay. Check this out. Okay. Let's say this is the commission, zero point six two percent. If you want to know what is zero point six two, zero point six two, zero point five of this thing, it's roughly, roughly, you can say thirty five dollars per metric ton. Thirty five dollars multiplied by five thousand per per ton per month, and then it is basically twenty thousand. So thirty five dollars multiplied by twenty thousand every month, and this is it. So it is basically for me, it is. It is uh, for me. This mentions my designation and everything. I will put in my mobile number, blah blah blah, all these bank details and everything. I'll just put my signature and my company seal over here and all this thing. If I will put in their details as well. One point two five. If it's a group, it, it can be different commission percentage. Totally depends on your understanding. And they put in their sign and everything. It goes on, 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 on. Yeah, guys. When this document is done, okay, with passport copy and everything, okay, when this document is done, this document is not notarized from the government and from the bank of the seller as well, because the seller is actually going to pay you the commission. Okay? Understand this thing? You get the commission. You are the last person to receive any money. Okay, so you get the commission in the end. And it has a it bank endorsement seal. The notary public was the government seal. The bank endorsement. The bank officer will also do say. Why we have involved the bank officer and everyone? Because guys, um, you do not trust the buyer or the seller. Maybe, maybe when you close the deal, the seller gets his money 
and he would say that I'm not paying you your commission. Okay, he can do this. Okay, so it's not exactly a very big thing. So understand this thing when it comes to these type of things, you have to get it endorsed by the bank and the government. So the the seller does not have to pay you commission. It comes from the seller account, but the bank and the government is directly paying you. Okay, so you do not have to wait for the seller. So guys, this was the end of our documents. First, tell me again, you know, are we all alive? Still alive? Yes, sure we are. Yes, sir, we are alive. Okay, you guys are alive, perfect. Okay, guys, so this is it for now. These were the documents. Now I will send you the documents, okay? You're going to study these documents and you are actually going to basically ask me if you have any questions regarding this. Now, guys, there's one thing I want to actually discuss on a very serious note. Okay. Listen, is there anyone in this group right now who is not from Pakistan? I think Marji Islam, okay, okay. We have people from international group. Okay, guys, last, last week I discussed this thing that I will actually send you a test. Okay. The funny part is nobody bothered during the week to ask me that why I did not send you a link. Were you running away from a test or you just forgot? No, oh, sir, your voice is cutting out. Please say again, sir, what are you? Uh, I'm, saying, I'm saying last week, last week, I mentioned that I will provide you with a quiz, a test. Okay. And I will provide you, last Sunday I told you this thing that I will provide you maximum by Tuesday. And I was just waiting and waiting for this thing that somebody would actually message me on the group and ask me for the link, but nobody did, you know. So did you guys forget or you just did not want to give the test? Uh, sir, I actually, I was absent in last class due to some domestic reasons. But sir, uh, you can send us in this week, sir. And okay, not, not, sure, exactly sir. This, not exactly this week. I'm sending you the link right now, okay? Okay, sir. And, uh, and what you guys have to do for me is basically you would have to do this test before, before because I think the link will expire maximum on uh, Wednesday. Okay. So you have to complete, it's a very short quiz. It would hardly take you like 20 to 25 minutes. And it is based on past two lectures. So if you have to give it by Wednesday, do one thing that, at least at least to revise the past two lectures and then try to attempt the test okay okay sir okay sir okay guys um i like i mentioned this thing last time that um the only reason the only reason we are conducting this test is for two things okay it's one thing is to actually check your knowledge second thing i was very interested in. this is this has been my practice in the past i'm doing this again that I used to actually like, you know, train people like you guys, and then I hire people from these type of circles. As I told you last, maybe I told you half of the audience over here, they know me, that I have been teaching into universities, not this thing, but other subjects as well. So usually the workforce that I had were actually my own students. Okay. So people, even like the people who are looking after sales and enclosure or retention department and all these things, they said, these have been my students. So what I prefer to do is like, you know, it's just to check your knowledge and where you stand. Guys, you do not have to have complete knowledge of it. Okay, I do not expect you to understand everything. I would appreciate that you fill, fill up the test. And if you do not understand anything, you come back to me and you ask me in the group. The group is dead for the whole week. Okay, whole week I have been waiting for you guys. Uh, like, you know, somebody is actually pop up and give me a question and all the same, but the group has been... So what you do right now is like revise the slides before attempting, okay? It is a very simple thing. It is not something like, you know, there's no basically point of passing or failing or something like this. Just attempt the test. Let me know how it went. If you do not understand anything, feel free to come back and ask me this thing. At least I would know what are the questions that you are looking for, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, guys. Guys, are we on the same page, everyone? The Khushbakht is there, Sharez is there, the Riz is silent. Yes, sir. Faiza, Jamal has opened his mic, so I'm assuming Jamal yes, is sir. about to say yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's do this thing. Okay.
okay we'll take this to the next class i just understand this thing why i provided you this test because i want to just check if we are good with the past information that we have and now we if we are proceeding to buyer hunting and supplier hunting if you are not comfortable with these terminologies that we have sent you okay then it's no use it's literally no use we are just coming and sitting here and wasting our time and uh, wasting your time wasting my time it's sunday we are taking out time for you guys and all these things so i would appreciate that at least you are learning something okay you want to be a businessman your resilience of being a businessman is actually shown over here okay you're investing your time and if you're not taking return in business you invest your money and you take some sort of return here you are investing your time and your return basically is um, the knowledge and if you're not even taking knowledge from here then i'm not fit for business you but the basically you are the worst businessman i would see why because you're investing your time and uh, then you are not exactly taking any sort of return from it it's like all going to waste okay so just do me a favor try to fill in this test try to basically like you know fill it before wednesday if the link expires you will not be able to attempt it okay so just let me know how it goes and then um, inshallah we will basically continue with this thing uh, next sunday okay i'll tell you what's next sunday guys please please if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the group do not stay dead for the whole week okay do you have any questions for me guys does anyone have any question for me Uh, sir, right now we don't have any question. But sir, uh, when you send the documents, we'll read. And if we have any question, we'll ask. Them. I will. Yes, yes, Charles. I will send you the documents right now. I will send you in the group, in the WhatsApp group. Okay. I'll send you the documents okay. there, and I will also send. I'll also send you the link for the test in the WhatsApp group. So let's start with that. Okay, and. Um, inshallah we'll see each other on next week and till then if you have any questions again you know feel free to reach me on whatsapp thank you so much sir okay sir thank you guys thank you guys take care see you next week okay